Okay, so today, guys, on um, Monday, we are off to Celestun. Um, we're going for a drive in the vehicle with our good friend Melanie, um, Dion's mum, and Dion's coming as well. So the five of us are heading to Celestun. Um, so basically, that's where the bio reserve is to see the flamingos. So hope and pray there's some flamingos up there to see. It is not quite their season yet. It's more towards the end of the year. Um, look, beautiful day. Celestun is a beach as well. Um, but I think from memory, there's like the natural water and there's salt water and there's just land in between. So it's unique in that, that way. Um, apparently there's bird watching. So apparently we go to the beach um, and we find our boat drivers basically. Thank goodness Melanie speaks perfect Spanish. So she will negotiate the cost of the boat. And from memory, what I've been researching, you pay for a boat, whether there's one person or six people. And I think it's max six people, and it's about what I've read is 1500 peso. So um, we'll see what we get when we get there. Sometimes they realize that you're not from here, so they'll charge you the foreigner price. But if Melanie's speaking good Spanish, we might get a better price with that. Um, so yesterday afternoon, we actually spent the afternoon at Melanie's place. We met some amazing people from all over the world. I'm sure Scott's going to do a video in regards to that. Um, because you make contact at those events, and I'm sure Scott will talk about the contact we made at that. Um, so yeah, Celestun. Then after we've done the bio reserve, looking at the flamingos and the wildlife, and I think there's crocodiles you can spot, um, we'll head back to the beach and we will go and have some lunch. We have been recommended a restaurant by one of Melanie's friends, Jesse. He recommended a place with amazing price for a lobster tail. Um, we will try and find that and just have a quick look around and then we'll head back here to Merida to go to soccer training this afternoon as Cruz got his first game coming up in a week and a half. So um, we hope to bring you some amazing footage and photos from Celestun. We'll see you there. Okay, guys, so Mel um, had a chat to someone on the beach. Um, 
1,800 pesos, that's the new price, that's fine. Everything's gone up, fuel's gone up. Um, we're in the boat with Manuel and he's gonna take us um, to see some some of the flamingos. We're gonna go back into, the, into um, some of the freshwater stuff, I believe. So we're obviously in the beach at the moment. So, not sure how long this tour is gonna go for. Um, doesn't really matter. We're gonna have, a, gonna have a great time as it is. So, um, and then we'll come back and have some lunch. All right, looking forward to it. We'll catch up with some footage. Cuando el río está muy lleno, se rompe y nace un ojo de agua. Fresh water spring. Fresh water spring. El agua sale dulce. Solo al salir se mezcla con la del estero y queda. Oh, okay. So that water bubbling over there is a fresh water spring coming up. And very dangerous. Sí, todo el todo el anillo de lo que es el Golfo de México no existe en otra parte del mundo. Excuse me, ma'am. No, no. Normalmente ahora en el verano queda de este color por las lluvias. El otoño. Sí, y por por el color que sale. Brinca el invierno hasta el próximo año en verano es transparente por completo el agua. From the winter to the summer, it's completely clear, crystal clear the water. It's only in the rainy season. It gets dirty. It gets this color. Parte la naturaleza. Pero allí es donde brota el agua. But this is look to see it come up. Yeah, I was about to ask you what was going on. This is where it comes up. So there's one off Cancun that if you dive, because I mean, you diving, it's very dangerous. Hay uno en Cancun que es peligroso. Yeah. Cool. Because where it meets, it comes. Carbon dioxide. Gases. Gases. Valladolid. Eh, no, pero van en unos días. Wow. Hay un hotel, un restaurante que se llama Sacil. Sacil. Sacil Restaurant. Tú estás comiendo. Y al lado es un cenote espectacular. Sí, es muy bonito el restaurante. Sacil. Con este. Zeta. Zeta. Zazil. No, that is a... So he just spent two minutes explaining to us. That is a natural spring coming up. Keken se llama. Keken en Maya. So it's natural fresh water spring coming up into the ocean. Keken means pig in Maya. Sí. Subterráneo. Te metes y tiene escalanitas.
Okay, guys, so, so far on the tour, uh, Manuel is taking us um, over to the mangroves, um, where the water colour changes. It's just amazing, and the water colour becomes red. Now, the red um, is from the tannin in, in the mangroves, and um, there's this little ecosystem in there. We saw some red um, legged crabs, there's alligators in there, spider monkeys, there's a heap, heap of stuff in there, um, which is was really cool. So, that was definitely worth it to go in and see that little bit. And then we came out to a section, it must have been a kilometre, oh maybe, it felt like a kilometre, but maybe it was only like 600 metres from the shoreline, and the water is about a metre deep. And he said, jump in, and it's basically like jumping onto a bed of magnetic sand, soft sand, it was mud, it was mud effectively, and what, what it was is like super um, exfoliant style mud, like you'd probably pay $50 in Australia for a little jar of it. And we're just covered in it. And so we lathered ourselves up. You see some photos of us there with it all over our face. Um, gave ourselves some facials and things. So that was pretty cool. And we've pulled up to a section on the beach where um, it's 100 metres to go and see the flamingos, where all the flamingos hang out. Um, little tip, mosquitoes are pretty heavy because it's still water around. So it kind of feels a bit mangrovey. Um, definitely bring some mosquito spray. But anyway, guys, it's been... Um, it's been a really cool tour so far, and um, we still haven't got to. We still haven't got got. We still haven't got to see the um, flamingo, so we're just getting there now. Um, this is be uh, really cool. All right, talk to you soon. Okay guys, so we've just walked in off the beach into the biosphere, I guess you could call it, the reserva, um, to look at the flamingos. The sad thing is they're a bit further away than we were hoping. We are hoping they were a little bit closer over this way, but that's okay. they got to find their natural place they want to be today. Um, but there's lots of little groups of them further down. Um, so Africa's got the highest amount of flamingos, Mexico's second highest. So um, they're actually a salmon colour, not pink. Um, but yeah, look. It's really amazing to see them in their little group in their real habitats and not in the zoo um, and it's been really really awesome little trip that we've taken on this boat and I highly recommend doing Salastun and coming to the biosphere. Excellent, that sounds really good. 